The RAC and the Camping and Caravanning Club have teamed up to advise you of the easiest and safest ways of towing ready for your next trip. Whether you're an experienced camper or a beginner, we hope you'll find something useful. Preparing your car and caravan, trailer or trailer tent before you set off is the key to making your journey as safe and hassle-free as possible. Choosing the right tow car is crucial to a safely matched outfit. Beginners should tow no more than 85% of the car's curb weight, the trailer should never exceed the car's maximum towing limit, and the caravan's nose weight should be within car and caravan limits. Loading the caravan carefully when preparing for the road is very important. Make sure internal and external loads are safely secured. Ensure the heaviest item is placed on the floor directly over the axle, and try to ensure sufficient nose weight on the tow board. Check that both your tow car and trailer tyres have the legal tread depth and are suitable to carry the load. The minimum legal tread depth, as with cars, is 1.6mm, although we'd advise changing those tyres when the tread depth gets down to 3mm. Be aware of the date of manufacture of your car and caravan tyres. You should look to change them between 5 and 7 years from manufacture, certainly no later than 7 years. Also, check the tyre pressures on your car and trailer. Your manufacturer's guidebook will have appropriate advice for your unit. And here are a few final checks to make before hitting the road with your car and trailer. Make sure windows and roof vents are securely closed and locked. Engage the trailer coupling head on the car's tow ball safely. Make sure leg steadies and jockey wheels are raised and secured. Make sure you have a number plate visible on both your car and trailer, as well as red reflecting trailer triangles. Make sure your trailer's breakaway cable or secondary cable is attached correctly. Release the trailer handbrake and check road lights work correctly. These are operated via the tow car and connected through a 7 pin or 13 pin plug socket. Be sure to fit towing mirrors to your tow car. Anyone towing a caravan must be able to see 20 metres behind them and 4 metres either side of the trailer. To meet this requirement, almost all vehicles need additional towing mirrors. These must be the approved E11 type. But don't forget to remove them when you're not towing. It's illegal to drive with them on if you don't need them. Before you set off, make sure you've got appropriate breakdown cover. Arrival is the Camping and Caravanning Club's exclusive breakdown and recovery scheme brought to you by the RAC. It includes all the benefits of standard RAC breakdown cover, plus specialist cover for your caravan, motorhome or trailer tent. Towing a caravan is simple, provided you think about a few important things. If you passed your driving test before the 1st of January 1997, you will automatically have a B plus E entitlement category on your license. This allows you to tow car and caravan outfits with a maximum combined weight of up to 7,000 kilos. If you pass your test since that date, your driving license will have categories B and B1, which means you're restricted to towing a combined car and caravan outfit weighing no more than 3,500 kilos. When approaching a corner or roundabout, take it slowly. To accommodate the extra length and to avoid mounting the kerb, you'll need to take a wider driving line. When you're towing, be aware of different speed limits. You may drive up to 60 miles per hour on dual carriageways and motorways, but the limit is 50 miles per hour on all other roads unless lower speed limits are in force. Your car will perform differently when towing. The extra weight will make accelerating slower, and similarly when it comes to braking, it'll take around 20% more distance to come to a stop, and be sure to avoid sudden braking. Caravanning is perfectly safe, but poor planning can lead to instability on the road. Examples of poor planning include loading your caravan incorrectly, inadequate nose weight of your caravan on the car's tow ball, excessive speed, incorrect tyre pressures, or air turbulence, such as when you're overtaking a large vehicle or being overtaken by a large vehicle. Also, be aware of crosswinds on open roads. If you're planning to tow on a long journey, be sure to factor in plenty of brakes. Government advice is a 20 minute break every two hours of driving. For further information about arrival, RAC's exclusive caravan and motorhome breakdown cover, Please either call us on 0330 159 0461 or visit racarrival.co.uk.